Hey YouTube, welcome to Tech Acid. It's brand easy coming back to you guys today with a quick video on Haswell, the i5 4670K versus the Ivy Bridge 3570K. Now, before I sold my 3570K, I did a series of benchmarks, and now that I've upgraded to Haswell and sold my i5 3570K, I've done this same series of benchmarks, and I've done these tests. I did them before I sold my Ivy Bridge. I did these tests, uh, you know time and time again to make sure the results were fine and I did them again this time. So anyway, let's move on to the results but first thing I will say is that I am at 4.8 gigahertz at the moment so the Haswell chips are looking very impressive at the moment as overclockers. So my i5 I'm taking I'm recording this on 4.8 gig overclock right now so I mean I'm gonna need more time to play around with it but yeah 4.8 is good to go so I imagine some people will be able to get these things to 5 gigs. Anyway let's get on with the results. The first benchmark we have here is Skyrim, and now Skyrim, this is the only game I tested. I'm going to test a lot more games in the, in the next coming months, but this game, when I tested, when I did benchmarks in the past, this game always showed the most difference when you tampered with CPU and RAM settings. So now with Haswell, it showed a 14.2% increase, and this was just huge. I don't know why it was this big. Uh, I have to, I believe it's got something to do with the motherboard and the drivers as well, so I'm going to look into it a bit more, but this, you know, it was a just an honest benchmark, a real world benchmark that I did previous install, so used the same save game file and compared it to this exact same settings, everything was identical, uh, GPU clocks, RAM clocks and 4.2 GHz clocks. So yeah, that was interesting. Let's move on to the next benchmark. And we have here a 3D uh, Mark 11 uh, CPU score, so it's just the physics score, we're just looking at the physics score here. And as we can see here, the Haswell scored a 5.2% increase. So that was pretty. That's pretty solid. That's pretty good. Um, it's not impressive, but it's decent. So uh, not too bad there. Let's move on to Super PI at 32 meg. So this showed a 4.56% increase or reduction in time. So that was pretty good as well. So it's it's in synthetic benchmarks. It's uh, looking like it's showing a good 5% increase, so that seems to be the go, uh, internal clock performance increase, so uh, that's pretty decent, not too bad, so let's move on to the last benchmark. And now this was probably the most interesting, so I did the exact same video, exact same settings, timed it with a stopwatch, and the Ivy Bridge uh, clocked in faster, so it rendered the video in 4 minutes and 28 seconds at 4.2 GHz, and the Haswell rendered it at 4 minutes and 33 seconds, so it was 1.7% slower. So that's uh, an interesting benchmark there. So this is CS5 as well, Premiere Pro. So pretty interesting results here anyway. So let's get on to the conclusion and uh, whether you can, whether you should upgrade to Haswell or not. Okay, so we saw the results there, and they were pretty damn weird. Uh, the Skyrim was very impressive, and I did that uh, exact same save game file, exact same uh, settings across the GPU, RAM, and CPU. So it was very impressive that Skyrim was showing an extra like 14%. So uh, take in mind that Skyrim is the most CPU and RAM dependent game that I've tested, and that's why I specifically wanted to test Skyrim uh, to show you guys what you could maximum up to expect in performance increases so that was a very interesting result uh, the rendering test was very interesting too it was in favor of Ivy Bridge so that was interesting as well so the synthetics showed about a 5% increase as well and the main thing is I guess the overclock ability it overclocks about uh, you know 10% better than Ivy I'm guessing so that's a very good feature so it's a very good thing about Haswell uh, all in all I'm gonna say that if you're already on Ivy Bridge there's really no need to upgrade I just upgraded because I you know love tech it's awesome and uh, if you're on Sandy uh, or before that you may wish to upgrade because the Z87 motherboard is packed with features just so many features on it you know all side of three ports the awesome onboard audio solutions the awesome NIC uh, that integrated all on the board it's very sexy very good especially some of the you know the MSI is a really good looking board I love it so awesome awesome stuff from MSI this this generation of motherboards anyway so I'm getting really tired so anyway, guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment in the comment section below and if you 
want a new home, then you're welcome to subscribe and stick around. I'd love to have you guys around here. Anyway, uh, peace out for now. Bye.